Well, it is an exciting day at Folly Beach today as the South Carolina Aquarium releases its nearly 400 sea turtle back into the wild after they were admitted to the Aquarium Sea Turtle Care Center and rehabilitated. Live Five's Katie Kamen joining us now from Folly Beach. Katie, what a great opportunity out there to see this. You get the chance to watch these sea turtles being released today. What's it like on the beach out there? Hi, Anne. Yes, what an amazing opportunity. Totally a moving experience. Hundreds of people were lined up here at Folly Beach, lots of families, lots of children, to watch three Kemp's Ridley sea turtles be released back into the water. Some of the parents I talked to said that they even took their kids out of school so that they could come and be a part of this action. Folks were cheering and clapping when those turtles finally got to be back in the ocean. Now, these three turtles released today, they make up the 395 total turtles that the aquarium has rescued, rehabilitated, and released. Today, there's Yoshi, Colby, and Baby Bell, three adorable juvenile turtles getting released back into the ocean to start their new adventure in the wild. Colby was the first of the three to be taken into the Sea Turtle Care Center after being entangled in a fishing line in Garden City back in mid-June. Next was Yoshi, who was caught by an angler in Myrtle Beach at the end of June. And finally, Baby Bell, who was caught on a fish hook here at Folly Beach at the beginning of July. Baby Bell in particular was very excited, moving around a lot when they got to the beach. Now, all of these little patients were attentively cared for and brought back to help, uh, health until their big release today. And so to see the turnaround that they make throughout their process through rehabilitation, you know, all the weight that they gain, the energy that they, um, that they develop as they start to recuperate, it's just amazing to see the turnaround in these patients. Officials with the aquarium say this is likely the last release of the season as temperatures uh, get a little bit cooler here locally as we go into the fall and the winter. Now, if there is a patient who's ready for release, they can drive it down to Florida because they want that turtle to get back into the ocean as soon as they can. Officials say there are about 12 turtles currently being rehabilitated at the Sea Turtle Care Center in downtown Charleston. Live at Folly Beach, Katie Kamen, Live 5 News.